Hey guys, today is the day that I'm gonna try to figure out how to get some things moved around in here in the pantry so that I can get that shelf emptied so I can take it down to the mobile home. And I know that we have a lot of space in here that's we didn't have before. So I think I, I'm pretty confident that I can do that. So I don't know how well it's going to record. Like, I don't know how much you're going to be able to see. Like, when I start going down to the lower shelves and stuff. And whenever I walk away, I don't know how much it's going to focus. Because I've been having bad problems with my camera focusing and losing focus lately. And I don't know why. Because it didn't used to do that. Now, it is a few years old now. Like, two, three years old. So, and it is used every single day. So I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna see. But my plan is to move things like jams and stuff up here where all this other miscellaneous condiment stuff is and um, just try to get it organized. Like I don't know why these olives are down there when there are other olives there were other olives. Maybe they're all gone now. But, um, yeah, I just gonna try to get it all situated and, um, just, just taking y'all along with me. And I know that some of this stuff can move over here. Oh, goodness, I dropped it. Because, um, there's an empty spot. I don't know how much we can get over here, though. But if I can't get them all, I'll just stack it another way. It'll be fine. I'll make it work. Because nothing in here is organized like it used to be. And the washer and dryer are both going. We're going to hear that this whole time I'm doing this. Because of... Um, I have to do laundry. <laughs> I don't have a choice. Um... I guess I do have a choice. I could just not do laundry and we could have dirty clothes, but is that really a choice? Not really. <laughs> no, not really, it's not. All right, so we're gonna have these things stacked the way they were. Kinda odd and not exact, not exactly like, you know. It should be, it, you know, not like you would normally do. I don't know why these soups are up here. Because the rest of the soups are down there. See, those things, those kinds of things, like, I don't understand them. Why do these not fit, but all the rest of them do? Okay, they don't fit on that side. Okay, whatever, it's fine. Um, and see, like, there's pinches down there and up here. I don't, I don't understand it. It's so confusing the way things have gotten moved around here in the pantry. No. Absolutely no. I want to try to move these bags of, like, vital wheat gluten and stuff over to over here this can go up here with the other sauces and this oat fiber move it over here and then i'll have this big space i can put those canisters that are in there down there either because that should be with like baking supplies and stuff that should be too and this is like drink mixes they should be over here <laughs> I still have some bit of organization not much but a little bit at least I want to have 
And this is my Redmond sea salt, or red, my Redmond real salt. I'm gonna put this one up here because it's that smoked salt. And I want to put one of these, I wanna put this, don't need that. But I'm gonna put this one, I'm gonna fill up my little container that I showed y'all that I bought. Ooh, there's a vacuum back there. Um, I'm gonna fill it up with some of that. And this salt can go over here with the other salt. start grabbing a few things and see what I can bring in here but I'm just gonna take y'all to the table because I think once I'm gonna go wash my hands real quick because I think I'm gonna put some of those cereals into those bins that they belong in and see if I can do that and maybe put um, like cut out the front of the box because I always put it in in the bag because um, I don't want to dirty up the thing and have to wash it over and over. Yes, it's lazy, but efficient. wash these just not every single time we change cereals um, so I don't want you to think that I don't ever wash them other one in there as well. I could if I open this and pour that into there and they got the same expiration date I'll be using it soon anyway so I'm going to go ahead and open it. At least I think I can. I may be wrong. Give me a day or two and that'll be down. But I'm about the only one that eats this, but I know what it is. I'm not gonna put the thing on it. So that's what I'm gonna do. 
and I'm just gonna let y'all listen to the music while I do this because otherwise it's just gonna be a lot of this n noise Okay, there is one exception of one that I do pour in, which I've washed this since the last time I used any, or since I bought any. The tortilla chips and the plain potato chips, I do pour in, which the plain potato chip, when I took it over to the dishwasher, well, that's as far as I got, I'm gonna hand wash it. But the container needs washing. So there are a couple of things that I do put into this these bins without it's mainly the cereal I don't do it because we swap cereals quite often or we used to we don't now um because usually it's just like the kind of cereal I eat and then um Noah eats granola so and Jeff doesn't really eat cereal maybe Rice Krispies or something but there's that one and we did put this pub mix in here, but I think I'm gonna pour this into a bowl and just put it on the counter so somebody will eat it and then wash this thing and um, put it away for later because we don't need to have everything in there. Like, that didn't sound right. Not that we don't need everything in there, but we don't have to have, like, every one of these containers full and what I'm going to do with this one is put I wonder if I could just put both of them in there I think I'll put um I don't know really what I want to put in this one I'll probably just take these out of the packages and put them in there in this one because it's kind of bigger but I don't know I hadn't decided This one had the chicken biscuit crackers in it, and we don't have any of those, so I'm gonna wash this. I don't know why I'm telling y'all all this. I just am. And Noah is out of granola, so I guess I need to put that on the list. He didn't tell me he was out of granola. So, what all was that? Granola and peanut butter. Let me write that down real quick. Okay, instead of me just emptying that thing, showing y'all what I'm doing, I'm just gonna start bringing things in here and seeing where I can put it because I'm getting a little bit nervous. I don't know if it's gonna work.
Okay, so there are a few things that I'm gonna put into one of those bins in there. There's some jars of pickles and peppers down there at the bottom that I may just put in the floor down here. Um, I need to put the potatoes where the potatoes go. I don't like this. This is so unorganized and so not me. And I don't love it. That's, <laughs> that's one thing that really bothers me is whenever the pantry's disorganized, my mind is disorganized. And with the refrigerator too. And the freezers, when they're disorganized, my mind is disorganized. Thanks, dryer. And I can't, I can't figure out what I want to cook, what I have, or anything. But I have to tell myself this is only temporary. This won't be like that for long. And then I will figure out the new pantry. Another reason why that I am trying to fit as much as I can into this space is because I'm not going to have as much space as I do now. I know that. Um, that's just how it's going to be. So, if I go ahead and figure this stuff out now, I don't have to think about it later. Like, if I go ahead and downsize some. Now, I am still going to be prepping. We've already talked about that, Jeff and I have. We That's one reason why we bought that tall bed. We maybe will put bins under it to put our stuff in, some of it, like some kinds of things. But, um, let's get away from this obnoxious thing. Okay, so what's left on here, I've got three things of that Hungry Jack pancake mix that I'm going to put into one of the bins with the other, like, non-perishable foods. And then on that shelf, the only thing on there is cat food, dog food, and treats for both uh, cats and dogs, for the, all of our girls. And then there's a bunch of empty canisters that I've emptied over time since we've been doing this stuff it's because we just haven't been buying as much stuff. So, um, and then like I said, the bottom shelf has those pickles and stuff. But what I think I'm going to do is just take these off and um, put those in to that thing which I need to be using this pancake mix, but I found that we don't eat many pancakes, but I had gotten it at such a great price. But there are muffins you can make with pancake mix, but um, I need to do something with it. And I'm gonna have to find somewhere for our freezer key to live, because if this isn't here, we won't be able to do that. And I don't know why that's on there. It belongs somewhere else. I think I'll just put my freezer key on the freezer door. It'll probably annoy us, but it'll be all right for now. And this, Jeff is gonna have to take off because he bolted the uh, thing on. I hear you, you're gonna knock a box on your head. Here. Here. This is her treat canister because if you leave it in the little bag, she'll tear it apart. But I might get no one to help me figure out where to put our girls' treats and food and stuff because we got canned food down there and like the little pouches. But it's mostly done and I can handle it. I may put some of the pickles and stuff in the like where the, the coffee maker is because I think I can fit that there. But, um,. I just gotta figure it out. <laughs> it's so hard to figure out where to put things when, I'll just talk to y'all about it because it's something been going on for a little while and I wanna talk to y'all about it because maybe you go through it too. Okay, so why this is difficult, but also freeing in some way. First of all, I wanna say I'm not complaining at all. We are truly blessed to have all that we have. But we made mistakes along the way whenever it came to prepping. 
some things we went overboard like the pancake mix perfect example we went overboard because it was such a great price and actually at the time Noah was eating a lot more pancakes than he eats now <laughs> but um we prepped starting off we wanted a month's worth of food in the house then it went to three months then it went to six months then it went to a year okay so we were at a year when we purchased the mobile home i think it was about then we had at least a year's worth of food in the house other than fresh meat like that kind of stuff we didn't have enough meat products to last a year but other things well no we didn't with meat there's other things now i'm not sure if we would have or not but then there's some things we purchased way too much of that would have lasted way longer than a year but you couldn't have actually made a real meal out of it like yeah you can eat tomatoes but would you want to eat that for a whole meal <laughs> you know um i guess we could have thrown some of the herbs and spices in it and had and and whisked it up in a food processor and had tomato soup i don't know <laughs> but anyway um along the way we have learned things we should and shouldn't purchase since we have been trying to eat the things like so we won't have as much to move and we've learned that things we probably need to purchase more of and it's it's like a bit of a difficult thing because we're used to purchasing more and we have that drive to put purchase more and keep more stocked and this goes with household products and hygiene products as well as food we're so used to it that whenever we stopped doing it it was like it was a battle you know but it's also a relief knowing that we have used up a lot of those things that we have decided we don't want to purchase anymore like um the laundry detergent we don't want to buy certain kinds anymore and i want to talk to y'all about that but i want to see what's going on over there okay kids <laughs> nothing bad just walking and i saw the shadows like through the curtain <laughs> It's fine. Anyways, um, I forgot where I was at. Oh, laundry detergent and stuff. Uh, because we're trying to get off my lawn. No, I'm just joking. They're not on my lawn. And even if they were, if they weren't doing anything wrong, I wouldn't care. Um, it's nothing. It must have been a bird or something. <laughs> Anyway, laundry detergent and those types of things, I'm glad we're using those up because of us wanting to use a better kind, like better for you, more natural, less scent, all that stuff. And there's something that Jeff and Noah have both noticed that um, right around their sock line, they had been itching and it wouldn't happen but just certain times and i was like what in the world i don't understand this why are you itching and it was whenever i was using persil which is what i'm using right now but i don't use it on noah's clothes and i don't use it on certain things of jeff's i'm just trying to use it up but um it was causing 
a breakout like it was causing eczema type rash on both of them so I'm really glad that I'm stepping away from those types of things and like I said it's a relief that we are getting rid of those things and now that I know for a fact they're having a damaging effect on my family I'm glad that we made this decision and um, I've also noticed because we have tried a couple of more natural body soaps and stuff um whenever I go we went whenever we tried that natural one and then we went back to the other one it was like so strongly smelling that it almost instantly gave me a headache which I'm used to it now it's not doing the headache thing anymore we're gonna use it up and then go back to the natural stuff and um not worry about that anymore but it's like I am finding when I'm testing out these products that are more natural that the other things have affected us and we didn't even realize they were affecting us and so I'm really it's, it's a relief what we're doing it's you know buying the mobile home was more than just getting us out of debt and getting us closer to family and getting us on property that's going to be bigger and we'll be able to have more um a bigger garden and more animals and things like that um and be in the country where we're from we're from the country we don't belong in the city y'all we we're not city folk we we don't fit in so well we don't have any problem with our neighbors though absolutely zero problems with our neighbors all of our neighbors like us but we don't like all the noises and the and the light it's like so bright 24 7 but anyway um that's not the only reasons why we're moving but buying the mobile home has given us more than just another home where we're going to be happier um it's shown us that certain things we've been using on our body and putting in our bodies have been harmful to us and y'all we've been eating out so much like more than we ever have ever and um it's it's taking a toll on us i believe i feel like that is one of the reasons why we're so tired because I did do like freezer meals and I have done quick meals. We've eaten the wraps, the little bento box type situations. Um, I call them adult lunchables, but they're more like bento boxes, I guess you could say. But we have done lots of different things, so we would not be eating out as much. and wouldn't be spending as much money. But, like, we get tired of cold sandwiches, and sometimes we're so tired that we just decide we're not going to do the freezer meal. Let's just go eat somewhere else, and we haven't wasted any of the freezer meals, and yes, I've bought and frozen, I've bought and, what? That's not a word. I've bought frozen pizzas and the frozen fish and chicken and all that stuff, and we've eaten that kind of stuff, but our food choices have they're they're slim when it comes to going down there and then coming home and cooking because we're so tired because we stay down there like last night we were down there until I think it was 9 30 we didn't get home until it was like 11 o'clock so it was later than 9 30 whenever we left I think it was close to 11 whenever we got home you don't want to cook supper that late you don't I mean yeah we did go grab something to eat Jeff and I did Noah ate here at home but going through a drive through doesn't take that long you know but it's so late that we just don't feel like it but we're getting sick of it <laughs> we don't like leaving a slow cooker going whenever we're away from home either because there's just too many there's too many fire hazards. You don't ever know what's going to happen with a sl with any kind of appliance. Just like I won't leave the dryer going. 
when I leave home or when I'm sleeping. I won't do that with a slow cooker. I remember my mama, when I was a child, she would put the turkey in and cook it real low and slow before Thanksgiving, like the day before Thanksgiving and stuff like that. And she would get up and check it and stuff in the night, but that is so dangerous to go to sleep with it going because I have had a stove catch on fire on the top and, which she didn't ever do the top part, and the oven catch on fire. So it's like I can't leave a slow cooker going because it messes with my mind. And I have thought about taking things down there to cook and taking different ones of my small appliances down there. But Jeff didn't want me to because there was so much sawdust and this and that and the other thing. Which my slow cooker has a sealed lid. You can, um, it's got a, a seal on it. So you can make sure that it stays clean. But he just didn't want to take the chance of something happening with our food and then we still have to go out to eat. Now I think it would be different because things are a lot cleaner, <laughs> but anyway, I was talking about the process of what we're doing with the food and stuff. It is, it's kind of, it is difficult for me because I am seeing the things that we should not have ever purchased as much of, not that we shouldn't have purchased it because we do like the things. And then I'm seeing things that we should not have or we should have purchased more, you know, that kind of thing is difficult. But I'm also seeing um, myself want to purchase and stock back up, you know, especially since the last time craziness happened was an election year. And this is an election year. Not saying anything's going to happen. I am not. I don't know. I cannot predict the future. But. It's now one of those things where you're like, mm, should I? Shouldn't I? Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> but it is definitely a relief since we're trying to get some of those things out of our home that we don't need in it anymore, that we're not wanting to have anymore. That is a relief. And like Donna and I were talking the other day, um, there's an analogy, I guess is what the word would be, that uh, if you if if the ingredients aren't what your grandma used in her kitchen, don't buy it. I'm kind of at that, which now we're probably the 40s and 50 and 60 year olds and 70 year olds. We're probably the last ones that can actually say that because even me, uh, my mama. Uh, she used all sorts of things. She still does things that are all kind of stuff in it because that's what they put in the food, you know? And I used them for years. I still am using some of them. Using the wrong kind of oils and different things like that, you know? And my granny used stuff like shortening and things like that and from what I understand shortening is not that good for you either I have shortening in my kitchen for certain recipes but I'm going to be trying to replace it with which I have coconut oil too but with lard and coconut oil because lard is a better thing but it's kind of just like wild how many chemicals are in our groceries <laughs> and how many groceries that used to not exist even ones like, and that's what's really crazy is I used to get excited about new products. I'm like, oh, I want to try that. Oh, well, let's try that. Not knowing that it was poisoning us. And no, I don't want to get on that. I don't want to start talking about that. That's not what my channel is about. Well, yeah, it is because it's about our life, but still. It's crazy. It's crazy how much is in our foods that's dangerous and our cleaning products and our hygiene products it's it's crazy but anyway i don't really know what else i'm doing today i don't even know what's on the menu plan because i don't think we have one for this week because jeff and i have not sat down and made one 
because we're doing it week to week, which is another difficult thing for me. We used to do it month to month. Nope. Don't know what we're having. I guess we'll just have to um, wing it. <laughs> because we didn't do it yet. So, I think I'll just make like uh, a ravioli bake because I have everything to do that. Nobody complains about it and it's yummy. So I'm gonna write that down. And then Jeff and I can um, maybe sit down and do this after he gets home from work or something. I don't know. But anyway, I guess that's all I have for today. I'm sorry if this video was really weird. Um, I am going to get Noah to help me get that bin down to put those pancake mixes in. Because it does have heavy stuff in it and I don't need to be picking it up. And... Um, I'm going to figure out where I'm going to put the pickles and peppers. There's not much down there. And then what I think I'm going to do, after we move the shelf, I'll just put the dog food and cat food back there. Well, yeah, because canned food, it's not a big deal to have it there on the floor. So, it'll be all right for now. And yes, our animals' foods are with ours because... They just are. Not their wet, not their dry food because it's in these big bins. Or not big bins, but they're in bins. So we don't put it in the pantry. But anyway, I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Hopefully this video was not too weird. I'm not down. I'm not depressed. I'm in a good mood. It's just I am seeing so much. I'm learning from our mistakes. But. I don't know. It's kind of weird. <laughs> I also need to go and get some of the sticky kind of this for the closets because I was going to use this, but we decided not to use this because it's not sticky. Um, so I'm going to go get some of the peel and, sti peel and stick contact paper from Walmart or something. And that way I can put that on the closets. And that thing over there, which is going to be in the closet. And I might use that on the shelf that Jeff built under the cabinet. I might use that on there, too, because that's a pretty wide shelf. And this is only 12 inches, so... Probably be better to use the other because it's, like, wider. I know it's wider than this. But anyway, I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope this video was alright. I hope it didn't drive you nuts. I really don't even know if what I did is going to work. It is weird because everything's so jumbled. And um, there's a lot of products that we don't have in there that we used to have. And the reason why we don't is because we only buy them if we're going to have that meal. Which is really weird for me. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm used to having whatever I need on hand so I can cook whatever I want. And that is another reason why it's so hard for me to make a menu plan. Because I don't have it. And then I have to think about it. And used to, I would buy it while it was on sale. And it would make things, you know cheaper now i might find it on sale if i want to have that meal i might not sometimes i have chosen not to have certain meals because i didn't find it on sale but anyway i'll see y'all tomorrow thank you so much for hanging out with me today i do appreciate it and if you don't mind leave me a comment down below let me know how you're doing would you feel weird in this situation or would you feel just fine would it be a relief or would it be a mind-boggling trip because <laughs> it's a little bit of all of it for me but I'm fine with it I mean it's not it's the reason why I'm fine with it is because I'm learning that's the reason why I'm fine with it it's not like making me upset or anything it's just like huh I need to remember that 
Also, if you have a prayer request, you can leave that down below it as in the comment section as well. And remember, don't take any wooden nickels and be sweet.